Bukowski kid? Jackie Hansen Bukowski. Can you tell me what what is this garden? It, it's an individual standalone land trust. We own it. It's fully tax exempt, and it's an all volunteer garden. Wow. So, except for contractors that come in and cut off tree limbs or something, no one gets paid here. It's open every day. Yeah. And it's open to you know anyone to join who wants to to okay. be a member, and also to get on the waste wait on the wait list for okay a plot. and what do you do like a member as a member what do we do yeah we plant flowers <laughs> we, have, we have a whole list of events we do yeah we sponsor uh, four concerts in June we have our annual benefit June 11th and that we'll have a musical group for that and the food is contributed by local restaurants on Columbus Avenue and um, we have a Shakespeare Festival, mm -hmm. and we have an Arts and Crafts Festival in the fall, and mm -hmm. then we have an annual community planting, yeah. which is uh, usually Veterans Day weekend in November, when we publicize that and the entire community comes out, and usually about 100 people, and they help plant tulips. So, so is it only tulips that you plant? Well, for the spring planting, we plant tulips, we plant crocuses, we plant, you know, muscari, What's whatever, that? you know, bulbs that you plant in the fall, they come up in the spring and blossom. Yeah. And there's a wide variety of those. What's but your favorite thing about the garden? My favorite thing about the garden? It's probably coming here in the evening and looking at the flowers. Yeah. And, you know, digging in my vegetable plot and planting things. Mm -hmm. And then there's the people you meet, which is probably the best part of all. How do you guys decide what flowers to put? Well, that, that's a big thing, you know. And so, uh, with the, the if we're talking about the bulb planting, we start with catalogs in August, mm -hmm. going through the catalogs, and then we send in orders. Everyone sends in their wish list for 200 bulbs or so, and then we get together and decide what else we're going to order. As far as the plants that are planted out in the summer, the summer annuals and uh, even the perennials, we get together, we see what the nurseries have left over for the perennials, like we get a lot of plants from Sunny Border up in Connecticut. And then we also, you know, we have, we start plants in the greenhouse. People buy seeds and we buy seeds and seeds are donated yeah. and we start, flower, you know, annuals in the greenhouse. Right now yeah. we raise 2,500 pansies and violas, which are going to go in when the pans, when the tulips are over. And then we have, you know, a num you know, another couple thousand summer annuals up in the greenhouse right now, yeah. germinating and right. growing. What are the benefits of having this garden? What are the benefits yeah. of having a garden here? I don't know. It's nice to have a garden here. Yeah. You know, we have a lot of people who like to come here and sit every day. It's a place that kind of expands your consciousness. It brings people that live in the city close to nature. Um, it shows kids where food comes from. I, one of the, you know, one of the things we did is we planted fruit trees near the street on the 90th Street side of the garden, and we actually had a discussion in the board about planting those fruit trees. And some of the board says, well, the kids are going to see them and they're going to want the cherries or plums or whatever. And we said, well children in the city do not have an opportunity to steal fruit off of trees so that'll be a good thing yeah. <laughs> that was actually part of the discussion excellent and you know so years later i'm standing on 90th street locking my unlocking my bicycle and there's this little kid this little boy and he was jumping up trying to get hold of a branch to pick some plums and this really well-dressed lady comes along and she said, here, let me hold this down for you. <laughs> and she pulls down the branch so he can pick plums off of our plum tree. <laughs> and I'm standing here. And this is the funniest thing I ever saw. Nice. The communication nice. between this woman and this kid. <laughs> that's so nice. that's one of the reasons why it's good to have a community garden. Yeah. It brings and the kids actually. They, they don't do anything. They don't pick the tulips or flowers. They come for the concerts. 
And we had two little girls who come and dress up as princesses every year for the concerts. And they dance on the grass in front of the musicians. And you see kids who come, and for the first time in their life, they're seeing actual music being produced. So that's another nice thing we do. I saw this gang of really tough kids who one of, I believe, stole my bicycle. Oh. And it's all right. Anyway, I got another bicycle. So they're walking through the garden one day, and everything's in full bloom. And I'm standing back there in the vegetable garden, sort of hiding behind a rose bush, watching them. And they're like having this big discussion mm -hmm. about how nice it was and so on and so forth. They never touched anything. Mm -hmm. They obviously really appreciated it. So that was... That was quite special. Thank you so much for speaking with me about okay. this garden. Is there any last things you want to share? No, you should come and join in. Yeah. Come and enjoy yourself at one of our concerts or pick. We have a free 4th of July picnic that's right. open to everyone in the neighborhood. Okay. Come and plant tulips in the fall and come mm -hmm. try and you'll benefit. Okay? Thank you. Okay. You can check us out on our website. Okay. Westsidecommunitygarden.org. Okay. Or on Facebook, Westside Community Garden. Or on Twitter. Okay. And I don't know the handle for that. I forget All right. it. Alright. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.